sense why you called me here to insult me? More like to talk some sense into you. Whether you like it or not, Akum, I am a noble man of this land. And there is nowhere I would have sat back and watched this insensitive action to take place. Do you know you are a disappointment? That a son of a prominent man of this kingdom had decided to choose to become an ordinary dad to the king. That is unheard of. Shame on you. At your age, if you cannot act with your brain, then there is no hope that you ever will. Ego Linogu, you are a fool. I will deal with you. Akum, let me break it down for you. I owe you no apologies. So it, it is now, Akum. You now call me by my name. If by now you've not noticed that I've lost respect I have for you, then you have. Trying to strike the king's right hand man who cost you a lot, Akum. You are nothing but a mere servant to an unpopular king that is going down. And let me remind you that this money called unpopular bears the caduceus of the ancestors, which makes me legitimate and a powerful king by all standards. You calling him unpopular makes you sound more stupid and insane. Even thinking that you can sell the river that supplies us with the fish we eat makes you the unpopular one. Ego Dinogu, you are a fool. For every word you say here today, I will make you eat. Leave my compound oh, before you begin oh, to oh, eat them. Oh, oh, there is even a scheduled time for me to eat them. You are going to be the one to cook them, I presume. Leave my compound now. I will, I will leave your compound. It's your compound, isn't it? You betraying son of the dark. You brainless bastard. You unfortunate son of a woman. Who do you think you are to betray the man that protects this kingdom from external invasion? What is this? And who do you call a betrayer? And why are you blocking my path? Are you pretending that you don't know the reason for our anger? Are you saying that you don't know what is going on here? Now! Why are you saying you are not aware or you don't know the meaning of betrayal? No! He's pretending not to know the meaning of deceit. The only thing I see are hoodlums blocking my way. And if you don't leave my way right now, I'll be forced to get very angry. What will you do? <laughs> Mm. Silence is the best answer to a fool. Leave my path now. I bow in greeting, distinguished elder in council. You are welcome, the chosen of the gods. And where is my damsel rushing after me? Father, I want to go and see my friends. You want to go and see your friends to make amend, I suppose? I have not seen or heard from them after our last conversation, so I'm off to make amends. Is she not a wise woman? She is. Father. I am ever grateful, eternally grateful to the gods for giving me a wonderful daughter just like you are. You have come again, Father. <laughs> Wisdom only comes from the gods. Hurry up, my hurry up then. Um, the gods will go with you. Must I repeat this every other time, Father? I have the sacred carry with me everywhere I go. I have no need for gods. Listen, Ifedisha, you might be a powerful woman. In fact, you may possess some spiritual powers and protection by the virtue of the sacred cowry. Good and fine. But I'm going to be a fool to leave you to go out there without that mortal 
physical protection that I need, just for peace of my own mind. I insist the guards will go with you. The guards! Oh, only, go with her. only on one condition. What is it? That they stay far away from me. No problem as long as they are there with you. Yes. Go with our guards. Why is it that she is always getting whatever she wants from me, even when she's wrong? Yes, because she is a chosen one from the gods. <laughs> yes. <sir. laughs> I thought she's meeting this young one for the first time today. Exactly my thoughts, but you have a problem with that. No, I don't. But she seems so free with him, like she has known him all her life. By the time you understand that the princess is not just a maiden, but a direct representation of the gods, that will help you to realize that her methods mustn't be the same with other maidens. I think we should end this discussion immediately. <laughs> Why does it appear to me that you brought me out here just to make me laugh so hard? Well, I never <laughs> intended to make you laugh. But I'm happy you found my comments something to laugh about. <laughs> I have never seen a beauty so captivating as yours. <laughs> Noble man of my land, can you please quit the flattery and tell me why you halted me? Nothing serious. I just wanted to introduce myself to you as a common man who is mesmerized by your beauty. <laughs> But now that you've called me noble, I must say, I feel good. <laughs> you sure have your way with words, honestly. But I must confess, you indeed made my day, and I'm happy. Anyway, thanks for making my day. Hope to see you again. Uh, please, wait. <sighs> Well, you see, when a man calls you hot, he's looking at your body. Mm. When he calls you pretty, he's looking at your face. But when a man calls you gorgeous, he's certainly looking up to your clothes. <laughs> but when a man calls you beautiful, trust me, he sees everything. My name is Echazana. A child who never forgets his father. My princess, I must confess, your beauty can be compared to that of a goddess. And it is a lucky day for me, I mean, to finally meet a goddess face to face. You are beautiful. Echezona. Yes. Echezona. Well, my princess, I guess you were heading somewhere. I wouldn't want to delay you further. But I just hope um, I might get this chance to talk to you some other time again. Where was I? God. Where was that we were going? My princess, we are going to pay your friend a visit. Oh, I forgot. Thank you. M Ma if the gods permit, we will surely meet again. It's nice meeting you. Be good.
Mm -hmm. I had to warn him. I had to. I understand, my dear. Eh? You know, that man was gradually becoming a thorn in my flesh. You don't understand, my friend. So, what exactly did he say to you? To be honest, I did not give him time to defend himself. I walked in there, gave him a piece of my mind, and I stormed out. Hmm. But, how can a man be so desperate? Eh? Is it that there are no other girls in this kingdom? Jono. If the number of women in the world is more than that of men, like, like they used to say, I mean, why would a man be so fixated on one woman? There are so many fishes in the river. My point exactly. <laughs> See, look up. What is she doing here? Greetings, my friends. Your friends? Greetings, Princess Ifedichi. My friends, for every moment you remain angry, you give up a sizable chunk of your peace of mind. I have come all the way just to apologize. I am sorry. Please, do not push me away. Mm. I guess you're here to grant our request. Holding on to anger is like grasping a piece of hot coal with the intent of throwing it at another. You are the one who will get burnt. So let me guess. You're here to tell us to forget that we ever made any requests mm -hmm. and pretend to be friends again. Okay? A man cannot eat anger for breakfast and sleep with it at night without suffering damage to his soul. In other words, we don't have right to be angry at you, okay? I never said so. You have every right to be angry. That is why I have come to say I am sorry. Forgive me, my friends. This friendship means a whole lot to me. Please. Mm hmm Ifediche, you should have thought of that before turning down our request. My friends, you seem to forget that I am a servant of the gods. Take a good look at me. Look beyond the regalia you see. And you will understand that I do not have a life of my own. I don't. There are certain decisions I cannot take. Please, do not move away from me because of this. It's not worth it. Please. What? Thank you very much. Does that mean forgiving? It simply means that we are not ready to throw our friendship away. Yes. Ijem, just be calm. Very soon, you will understand the reason for all this. You're one lucky woman, you know. If I ask you to explain what you just said... Don't even ask, because you will not understand. Mm, I am not surprised. Ijima, let her be. Okay. Mm, I mean, let bygone be bygone. My friends, always remember that love is better than anger. Hope is better than fear. Optimism is better than despair. So let's be loving, hopeful and optimistic. Then we will rule the world. Ifediche, you know something? My love for you would have died a long time ago if not for your way with words. Exactly. We must develop 
and maintain the capacity to forgive. For the one who is devoid of the power to forgive is also devoid of the power to love. There is an element of good in the worst of us and some bad in the best of us. Once we understand this, we will be less prone to hating our enemies. Strong words are mercy. Just so you know, you are not my enemy. So take notes. Thank you. Now I'm fully forgiven. <laughs> well, <clears throat> we are getting there. <laughs> <laughs> that is very good. That reminds me. Ever since I got here, I've been itching to tell you something. Mm. Mm. <clears throat> what is it? I met a young man on my way here. He captured every bit of my attention with his choice of words. Who? He did. Yeah. Who? Who? Why are you sounding like a broken drum? You mean one man? was able to overpower three able-bodied young men of my life. And you expect me to believe that? Your Highness, this has nothing to do with overpowering us. I'm suspecting that there's something behind it. Your Highness, as we speak, Obiefuna and Jidofo are in critical condition. I am here because I ran for my life. I have never seen anything like that. I can't believe this. Jidadi. Did I hear you say you ran? Your Highness, I am not ashamed to say it. Considering the condition I found myself, there was nothing I could do, Your Highness. You had the opportunity to bring down the most foolish man in Okunago. And you are here telling me that you ran. Chidiadi, what kind of a man are you? Tell me! What kind of a man are you? Oh, gods of my land. Your Highness, if you were there, you wouldn't have been able to withstand him. I had to run for my life, Your Highness. Did I pray? Pray that we find another lasting solution to this soon. If not, if not, do not destroy all I have worked for. Your Highness! Your Highness! Your Highness! Who are you? And what's the meaning of this? Your life is in danger. What? What's the meaning of this? Listen, woman. You can't just walk in here and do what you just did and walk out without a reasonable explanation. This is the palace of Obunago Kingdom. How did you get in here? And who are you? I know you believe in the existence of Mom and Kechuku, the guardian angel. You can call me Wolf. Already know is if only meta Obulu the blind eyes.
that sees even in the dark. The erosion that carries away the altar of peace. The evil egg that broke the stone of unity. I remain the only one that says no when others have said yes. I am not only seeing your brother, but I am equally seeing a young man. Hey, for you, Metalo. I am happy that you are saying something. I know solution will come from this altar. What do you want from my altar? If you're metal. What we are talking about here is war and I need to win. My brother thinks he can control everything in the kingdom. He thinks he can take decisions that are unfavorable to others. He thinks he can deny me of my right to be rich. Ibekwe is beginning to stand on my way. Look at me. Is this how I'm supposed to be? If I am counted among the wealthy men in this kingdom, will our river dry up? I came here because there's something you can do. That is why I ask you what you want from my altar. There is something about the young man your brother recently made his right hand man. From what I can see. You cannot get to the king without passing through that young man. So I suggest you go back and get him off the way. If you need metal. I have tried to put him in his rightful place, but all to no avail. To me, Ego Dinogu is a riffraff. And I have decided to leave him and go straight for the king. Let me break it down for you, Prince Akum. I said, you cannot get to the king without passing through that young man. There is a connection of deep protection and the cord is mighty. And what exactly do you mean? The only option left is for you to go back and get rid of him. Asking him to leave as you've done already can never work out until he is meant to leave. Are you ready to kill Ego Dinogu? A life that has brought me nothing but frustration. I am ready. In the bag of a medicine man, Wait for me. Chokolum Kambia. Anu Kube, Anu. Anu Kalimuka, Anu. Anu Kube, Anu. Liko Monye Budi, baby. Anu Wau. Even a man, Anu. I will name Those that suspended peace from my eyes have no right to be in peace. When I decide to sell anything, nobody can stand on my way. And that is it. 
How do we explain this mystery? A clay pot as small as this to be this heavy. The power that will kill that young man must be very heavy. And that is what you have with you. Go home with it and make use of it tonight. So what and what do you want me to do? All you have to do is to look into that pot and call his name three times. Once the power leaves to locate him, he must surely die. It must surely kill that fellow. And the clock of that power will return to this pot. I will do it tonight and I will give you feedback tomorrow or unfailingly the day after tomorrow. And one more thing. Once the power returns and the pot is as heavy as it is, before it departed, it means that the young man did not die. Do not attempt again until you set your eyes on that man face to face. I know the weight I felt when you handed me the pot. That fool that has refused to leave when he was advised cannot stand it. Thanks for everything. I had known that I will always count on you. I dream about one man and the next thing I meet another and literally fall for him at first sight. What exactly is going on with me? Why one man haunts my dreams, the other haunts my reality? Gods of our land, is something wrong with me? How am I supposed to handle this? I mean, sitting right here, I can't help but desperately yearn to see each other again. But then, I'm also curious to find out who the young man who haunts my dream is. What am I supposed to do? I know you believe in the existence of Mom and Kechuku, the guardian angel. Who is the person that can interpret this dream?
Adekune, why haven't I been able to get you off my mind? I don't even know you well enough, yet I'm beginning to fall for you. And what kind of a man are you? What man goes straight to the father of a woman he loves to disclose his intentions first before anything? Oh, gods of our land. I want to love. And I want to love with everything in me. That's exactly what I want us to discuss. Why are you disturbed? Isn't it obvious to you that you brought this upon yourself? Papa, be cool. Can we just talk about something else? Hmm. Can we change this topic? Listen, Ijama, I am no longer insisting that you marry him. Nobody is insisting that you marry him. But if there is anything I must reiterate, that young man still loves you. I was doing something at the backyard before I came to talk with you. Can I please go back and continue? You just want appearance to humble my father. Is there anything too difficult for you to understand? What is the meaning of this? Is the princess out of her mind? Are you just going to stand there and pretend you don't know why I'm here? Come into the bed. We have a lot to discuss. Your life is in danger. Are you deliberately doing this? It took me time to decide on what I've done this night. Please, don't make me regret it. Come to me. Come with me. <laughs> It all ends tonight. Ego di no gu. Ego di no gu. Ego di no gu. So what exactly are you saying? That I'm not your type? That I'm not woman enough? Far from meet my princess. In fact, you're the most beautiful woman in the Onago Kingdom. It takes a lot of courage and strength to resist you. Then what exactly is the problem? Why are you rejecting me? I am not rejecting you. I am simply resisting what you want me to do. Doing this would not be right. Even if you want to do it. Not this way. I am your father's right hand man. What will he think of me when he finds out I defiled his daughter at his back? You talk as if I'm still a child. My princess, far from it. I'm just echoing what would be your father's thoughts if we should engage in this immoral act. You are the princess of our Unago kingdom and no man should take you for free. My princess, I believe that anything that is what doing is what doing well. Besides, I swore to an oath of the caduces of our ancestors never to betray the king. And sleeping with you is same as betraying the king and is capable of taking my life. Hmm. Hmm. Huh. 
Who is this person in trouble? The wicked will fall into the pit they dug for others. They shall eat their own poisoned food and drink their own poisoned wine. Tears shall replace their laughter. They shall cover their heads in shame for the rest of their lives as all their plans and endeavors will be frustrated. Chukwokike will judge them without mercy. The gods will protect and defend the innocent. Egodunugu, I am the one who is attracted to you. I want you. You shouldn't be afraid of anything. My princess, never you undermine the caduceus of the ancestors. Sense anything? Sense what? I felt a chill. You need to retire. You need to retire now. Igudunugu. I am not in the mood for any argument. Let me take you to your chamber. Now. And one more thing. Once the power returns and the pot is as heavy as it is, before it departed, it means that the young man did not die. Do not attempt again until you set your eyes on that man face. As it has pleased the gods to place you under my care. May the gods forbid that I will allow the innocent suffer for what they do not know about. I am certain you came to confirm me if I'm dead. What exactly do you mean? You know exactly what I'm talking about. As you can see, I am not dead. I'm still alive. But let me warn you. Let me give you an advice. Next time you try such again, you see what will happen. How dare you? I! How dare you put the tail of a serpent? How dare you? She want to kill me. Alama, this boy your father employed is an animal. Uncle, I'm disappointed you came this early just to fight. Is that all you have to say? You see someone who was on the verge of killing your uncle, and this is what you are saying. I have lived with Ego Dunogu for a long time now, and I can tell that he's not quick to anger. You have to leave now before others will come and see this. I'm sure they must have heard your voice. Leave! May the gods be praised. It's indeed a good day. After every thunderstorm comes the rain. The innocent will always be vindicated. 
I need you to call one of the guards. I need him to run an errand for me. Yes, my princess. Has breakfast been served? Not yet, my princess. In that case, I would love to take charge of that. I am in the mood for exceptional cooking. Your cooking has always been exceptional, my princess. <laughs> I'm flattered. Thank you. Can we go to the kitchen now? <laughs> Obi, it's not that I'm not happy that you came to see me. But the truth, however, is that I am surprised. And I believe you should know why it is so. I know. So, how are you? I'm fine. And you? I'm okay. <laughs> You're welcome. Thank you. Um, your grandma, she's not home? Oh, no. She has gone to the women's meeting. Oh, okay. Yes. Yeah. To what do I owe this visit? Say, Obekunye, I'm here to apologize on behalf of my friend. I know she's not been very nice to you, and I am sorry about that. I know how it feels to love and not be loved in return. That's why I'm here to give you a listening ear. And he showed it to crying. Hmm, wow. <laughs> That's very thoughtful of you. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. But seriously, it's nothing. If she had said yes the first day I met her, or rather the first day I approached her, I would have been disappointed. But you know she's seen someone else, right? I know. <laughs> I know. And I know who this someone else is. Mm. So why do I get the feeling there is much more to what she just said? Uh, not at all, no. It will be I'm just a man in love. That's it. Okay. Obekuni. <laughs> why did you know? Why are you so bent on having her? I love her so much. I love her so much that I cannot love another woman the way I love her. She's my life. I know it's not going to be easy. But I will be patient. Okay, but I wish you did come for me instead. <laughs> oh, big Gary. Seriously, you amaze me. Uh, it's okay. I'm, I'm happy you came. Thank you very much. Um, I was about going to check my traps before you came. We have to reschedule for another time. Okay. If you say so, I'll come back some other time to check up on you. Oh. It's okay. Oh, thank you. All right. Thank you. Why isn't he here yet? Did he not get my message? Why is he wasting so much time? Oh, God of my land. Has he changed his mind? Maybe he doesn't want to see me again. Obodanyo, 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 what 
Sorry for keeping you waiting. Um. Oh, you're here. Yes. Truth be told, I was beginning to think you were not going to honor my invitation. An invitation I long for even more than food. <laughs> I mean, why will you say that? I stand to be corrected. Well, my princess, thank you once again for yet another opportunity. I mean, for meeting with you again. <laughs> You're welcome. Please, call me Ifediche. Oh, okay then. Ifediche. Yes. You look extremely gorgeous today. Mm. <laughs> I don't know what to say. Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. And I am not just saying this to flatter you. Hey. I mean every word of it. What can I say? Thank you. Once again, you're welcome. <laughs> I brought something for you. Um, yeah. Here we go. And this is the reason I kept you waiting. I was preparing this for you, especially. Oh, for me? I can't believe this. Is it in your nature to be this caring? Well, let's just say, I always try to be the best I can be. I'll take a bite. All right. Mm. You like it? I love it. <laughs> It's my favorite, Inchi. <laughs> Do you always cook this well? I try. Mm, this is really nice. I like it. I'm happy you like it. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, gods of our land, you have to save me from this one. Being a good cook myself, I have a theme for a young man who knows how to cook. I was thinking you didn't get my message. How is it going? Exactly as predicted, Your Majesty. So are you saying she is not in love with you? Your Majesty, you should know the kind of daughter you have. She's a special woman. And it would be foolish of me to think that she would just fall in love with me so easily. I am working, Your Majesty. And very soon we'll get there. <laughs> now, HSN, I want you to listen. Despite the fact I paid you handsomely for this, I want you to understand that my daughter is very important to me. On that note, I wouldn't want you to break the heart of the princess. I paid you to make the princess fall in love with you. And indirectly, I paid you to equally start loving the princess. You see? I chose you for this job because I hold you as a nobleman of my land from one of the respectable families of Omedele Kingdom. Therefore, I want you to do what you have to do and do not play a fast one on me or the princess. Well, um, truth be told, Your Majesty, 
she is a special kind of woman. And I am glad that you considered me for this. That's good to hear. I want you to keep me posted on the progress you are making. Listen to me. Needless to tell you this, because I, I am sure you know, that if you succeed in making the princess your wife, she is going to surrender the sacred cowrie to me. And then she will become a normal woman, an ordinary woman who could be a wife to her husband. I see you as that man. She is going to make you happy for the remaining days of your life. <laughs> I know all that, Your Majesty. And I am doing this because I see no risk in it. Are you... Are you possibly telling me to my face you cannot take risk for your king? No, 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 no Your Majesty. That wasn't what I meant. Your Majesty, what if the princess discovers that I was sent by the king and then she uses a secret cowrie to place a curse on me? I mean, I am taking a risk already. No, no. Okay. I am in a position to confirm to you that your fear is unfounded. The priest who told me about my daughter before she was born, who gave me the information on the secret cowrie coming through her, actually confirmed to me that she cannot see the hearts of her suitors. The gods deliberately did it so, so that men would not be scared of her. So you can continue with what you are doing and I wish you success because you are going to smile for the remaining days of your life. Thank you, Your Majesty. And may you live forever, my king. The gods know I prefer you to the stranger from Abunago. My son, there are things we don't want to happen, but have to accept them when they happen. Things we don't want to know, but have to learn. People we cannot live without, but have to let go. Obiekone. That young woman is not ready to be with you anytime soon. Why hold on to her? Never give up on something you really want. It is difficult to wait, yes. But more difficult to regret. Yes. Does that ring a bell? Yes, I know I taught you all that. That is why I am teaching you something new today. Listen, some people believe that holding on tenaciously to something is a sign of great strength. However, there are times when it takes much more than strength to know when to let go and do it. Obiekune, how long are you going to hold on to this woman? I'm not letting go just yet. I'm not going to let something that's so amazing go just because it is difficult. Grandma, you taught me that. I know. And I am very proud that you took those sayings of mine to heart. Obiekune, my son, letting go does not mean you don't care about people anymore. It's just realizing that the only person you have control over is yourself. There are so many beautiful maidens in this kingdom that will do anything to have you. Tell me, why Ijemwa? Grandma! Obiekune, when you create some space for some people in your heart and they choose to ignore, let them go. For if you are meant to be, eventually you will reconnect in future. Grandma, you're right on this one. But then, it's time I try to, to let her go. 
There's something inside that keeps telling me, give it time. Grandma, I am never going to stop dreaming. I am never going to stop believing. Grandma, I am never going to stop trying. And I am never going to stop loving it, Gemma. Obiekone. Grandma. You love this woman, don't you? Grandma, yes, I love her. I love her so much. May the gods grant you your heart desire. You see? <laughs> Grandma. I just hope you know what you are doing. Grandma, the girls are with me on this one. I can't believe this. Oz? Believe it or not, we are here. As real as it can be. What the gods have written, no one can cancel. No man can rewrite. <laughs> impossible. This is virtually impossible. Married to a man I know nothing about. A man I haven't set my eyes on apart from my dreams. Nothing is even more impossible than this. But how can a dream feel so real? Why do I still have exactly the same feeling of love from my dream in my heart? Why do I feel like I'm in love with this man from my dream? I think I need to fully wake up. In as much as I am excited with your decision to come back and give me this feedback, I must have to submit immediately that I am disturbed with this information. Uh, <clears throat> Your Highness, we are equally disturbed. Yes. You see, Your Highness, we've been talking with the king's younger brother, who has been our spokesperson. But his inability to give us a credible answer to you now kept us disturbed. I, I just don't know what to do, Your Majesty. Your Highness, sincerely speaking, Igwe Ibikwe is not willing to do business with us. Your Majesty, I want to agree with Ichien Naka here. The younger brother to the king, who has been our spokesperson, I believe has reluctant to his brother, our position. But his inability to give us a credible answer up to now points to the fact that he may not be interested with the business. You know, I have been excited with the thought of initiating this business partnership with three kingdoms. Your own goal on a kingdom, Obunago kingdom, and my Umedele kingdom. And the whole idea is to create an environment for prosperity and progress. But from the way things are developing now, it appears to me that this may not be possible. Your Highness, we can't conclude very fast. We still need to keep trying. Okay. Is it possible for you to go back to Obunago this time around? Bypass the so-called spokesperson and they speak to the king himself. Is it possible for us to do it that way? Uh, Your Majesty, it is possible. Just that we have not given it a thought before now. Now I am presenting it as an option. I want both of you to go back to Obunago this time around completely bypass the spokesperson try and see the king himself make him my offer of 50 bags of money he is the one in charge and he is the one that has the financial <laughs> 
Thank you. Guiding Angel. Who is she? Your Highness, we have come to know exactly what is going on. Yes, we have waited and waited. Are you still interested in the business? Oh no, no, don't ever think that. Okunagu is very much interested in doing business with you. Then, can you tell us the reason for the delay? Because our king is very worried. Well, elders, we are currently facing a little problem, just a minor one, which we are working very hard to deal with. Your Highness, can we hear what the problem is? We are like business partners now. Tell us. You don't have to bother yourself. It's nothing serious. You have my word on this. We are working hard to solve the problem. And sooner than you expect, you will hear good news from us. Akum, I never knew you had no sense at all. Now tell me, what actually prevented you from delivering my message about them paying taxes for us? Are you this desperate and money hungry? Yes, Sibekwe! The kingdom is money hungry. The citizens are money hungry. Yes, you as a king, you need money in your life. You need money in your life! You have managed to give away the little resources our parents left for us all in the name of charity. So yes, we are all in need of money. Money! Even at your age? I am so surprised at how foolish you and are. And you are wise! Ibe, go answer me. Are you wise? Someone who wants to give away his kingdom's river for free. And someone who wants to make significant money from the river for sharing. Who is wiser? Tell me! Now let me ask you. How much do you intend charging the people of Enugolona? As task. How much? You see? You don't even know what to say. That means you are a fool. How dare you? You dare call a king a fool in this abode? How dare you? Did you just slap me? I will do it again, again and again! Hey. You keep forgetting that I am no ordinary king. Now listen to me. Get out of my palace before I do something that you will regret for the rest of your life. Idiot! I hereby bar you from stomping your feet into this palace ever again. Get out! Get out! out. out. Ow! What I give you about what I'm saying. Oh, but I'm going to find them more. 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 Oh, but I'm going to
How are you doing? I'm fine. And you? I'm fine. What are you doing here? Oh, I was actually passing by when I saw you earlier today. So I decided to go home and get you some food. <sighs> really? Yes. <sighs> Thank you very much. Ah, uh, you don't need to thank me. I cooked more than enough today and my people will not be able to finish the remainder, so I said to get you some. I really appreciate it. Thank you very much. Oh, where can I set it up for you? Don't worry. Are you sure? Yes. Thank you very much. You can go now. But I can actually wait for you over here. No, later you come and pick this thing, okay? You really annoyed me the last time. I hope you know. I came here today because of the love I have for you. That is exactly why I've decided to bring this goodness to you. I believe it will cheer you up. What goodness? Relax, my beautiful one. I will tell you. Now you're keeping me in suspense. I've started making preparations. Preparations for what? Do you really going to ask to know? <laughs> that is exactly <laughs> what you are thinking! <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe this is happening. Obi, are you sure? Somebody who has started making preparations should be sure. Okay. So when are you coming to see my parents? Are we going to discuss this the whole day? Or come and show me some love? Show a man who is about to pay your bride price some love. <laughs> wait, <laughs> wait, 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 wait. <laughs> you see, with this, I will go to the ends of the earth with you. Wow! Come with me. <laughs> I am so excited. I am so so happy. I am more than happy for you, my dear. Ah, Thank congratulations. You. Thank you very much. You know, I just can't believe that this is finally happening. Ah. I I still cannot believe it too. You know, I thought he was never going to make the move. Yeah, same here. <laughs> So when did he say he'll be coming with his people to see your parents? Mm. <laughs> he didn't really say. He didn't really say? Yes. Hey, but, but I saw the sincerity and the readiness written all over him. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds good. <laughs> if he did she. Oh, Gini. Biko, 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 please do not kill my excited spirit. Of course I will not. I'm not a killjoy, am I? No. Anyway, I pray that the gods will always be with you. Mm -hmm. That is better. And what do we say to that prayer? He uh. said... <laughs> I ask you again, when is this young man coming? Papa, he didn't say, but he said they are coming. Hmm. And um, why, why do I have this strange feeling that something is wrong? Papa, this is one thing I don't like about you. You're always reading meanings into everything. It is my duty to give you this family protection. Why haven't I set eyes on this young man who wants to marry my daughter? Is there a law that says that he must come with his people before he sees me? Papa, I don't know why you're asking me this, but... Are you thinking he will not come? There is a popular saying among our people. Do not marry a man unless you will be proud to have a son who looks exactly like him. Papa, but just what do you mean by that? Or is this about to be a kuni? On the contrary, listen, Ijama. All those while you've been sneaking out to see this man, 
I knew. But I decided to keep quiet because I knew full well that no matter how hard I tried, that I can never stop the inevitable. But one thing is certain. You see that young man? You will never be proud to have a son who is exactly like him. What do you mean you cannot come with me? I'm simply saying that it is too early. Too early? You have been with me for years and you still think it is too early to see my father. I believe if anything is worth doing, it is worth doing where? If I must meet your father, it should be with my people. Is there a law that forbids you from seeing my father alone for the first time? Ijema, I have told you, I am not going to see your father. I am your husband to be and that is enough. Why are you arguing with me? Amobi. Amobi, wait. Okay, I am sorry. Because then wait. Obi Kuni, this is not the end of the world. You will always find someone better. So what if she's getting married? You're missing Ruby still out there. How sure are you? What if I have lost her forever? No. No, my dear. Never say never. There's always a chance to love again. You don't get it. No, you don't. I don't think I can love any other woman. In this Umedele kingdom, do I love my Ijeman? That's exactly how you feel right now. Eventually, you will get over this and move on. I know you will. Oh, but you will not. You will not understand. I do. You don't. I do. That's why I'm, I'm here for you. Okay? <sighs> Obi, please, I, I really appreciate that you're here, but I just want to be left alone. I need to be left alone, please. Are you sure? Yes. Okay, uh, I'll come back again and check up on you. Just don't do anything stupid. Don't worry, I'll be fine. Okay. I'll be fine. Thank you for coming. Okay. And thank you for your concern, please. <laughs> Let us even assume she has left you. Is that the end of the world? Is Umedele now devoid of beautiful maidens that you cannot immediately find yourself another? Ubiekune, you have not touched your food. In fact, throughout today you have not eaten. And all because of a woman that is not even as beautiful as I was when I was her age. No. no, it's not all about beauty. Then what is it about? This is the third meal I've made for you today and you have rejected. Obiekune, I am too old for all this. The last time I begged the man to eat my food was years ago, long before the king of this land was born. Obiekune, my son, please don't make me do this. <laughs> what? Obiekunye. Obiekunye.
Ayo aku diawi ya. What has this girl done to my son? Please, do not get married to her. Because you'll be making the greatest mistake of your life. Please, don't marry her movie. <laughs> Are you insane? Is something wrong with you? How dare you walk into my compound and tell me not to marry the man I love? Don't you ever accept defeat? No, listen to me. It is high time you accepted the fact that Amobi has defeated you in this game of love. Get that! I, 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 uh, Ijama, I swear on my life, you do not know what you're doing. You don't know what you're doing. Oh, please! Don't give me that. I know exactly what I am doing. I am getting married to the love of my life. <gasps> Unfortunately, Ijema, you do not know the love of your life. Yes, Amobi is not who you think he is. He's not. He's not. And what do you mean by that? And who made you a judge over the man I call mine? The, 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 see, that's my point. That is my point. You call him your man. He has been taking advantage of that. Enough. Hey, hey, no, enough! Enough! Hold it right there. Obiekune, you dare come into my compound and say jealousy reading words about my man. Let me warn you. Do not ever come back here again. Now get lost and don't you ever come back here. you must listen to me that young man needs you mother you have said that already which young man do you speak of make me understand please if you fail to help him he will not get help from anywhere but i need to understand you mother wait no mother wait what young man the god will give you wake up and the second carry will guide you mother Mother, listen, talk to me, please. Is this the same man? So, so why is my mother now involved? I am bothered the more. Wanyi Miri, I am bothered. For my mother to finally get involved in this means I must do something about it. But you are doing something, my child. Nobody will hold anything against you. Wanyi Miri, I submit to your authority. And I say, you cannot submit to my authority. For you are the daughter of the gods. I am the daughter of the gods, yes. But I am confused. I am confused and that is why I am here. Who is this man that the gods want me to save? Why is my mother involved in this? Why do they want me to save him? Still, I do not know where to find him. I understand your plight, my daughter. It has something to do with the gods. The idea thing is to leave the gods to conclude what they started. Even I, Wani Muri, cannot explain the mind of the gods. We mortals can never be able to understand the reason why the gods do what they do. If only I can get answers to why he always haunts my dreams. It will help me a lot. My daughter, try and recollect all your dreams. 
is it totally correct for the daughter of the gods to say that he has been the one haunting her dreams? I do not know the answer to that question. She appears in my dream. I do not know if she's the one haunting me or if I've been the one haunting her. But the truth is that I need to be guided. And that is why I'm here. We all need to be guided. We are mortals. We do better when we listen to the gods. They are saying something to you. The gods are saying something to you. And my advice is listen carefully and be patient. For the gods will eventually make everything work perfectly well for you. But how exactly do I get to know when the gods begin to make things work perfectly for me? And how do I understand what they are saying to me? And how do I get to know what exactly they want from me? We mortals are programmed to work with time. But the gods manifest their agenda in seasons. I understand what you mean by the gods manifesting in seasons. But I can't help but wonder, who exactly is this man? Is he real? Or just a figure in my dreams? It boils down to the same thing. When the season comes, the gods will make everything clean. You will agree with me when I say that this has been a long ministration. But I will end it with one important declaration. She is who she told you she is. Your guardian angel. What exactly is going on? It feels more like the gods are playing a game with me. How am I supposed to handle all this? If it's not my mother's suitors haunting my dreams, it's Echezonanna haunting my sanity. I cannot explain my attraction to him. Yet, there seems to be something about him. I was told this is your favorite spot in the kingdom. Who told you that? Well, let's just say I have my sources. Don't tell me you detailed spies to monitor me. <laughs> no, no, no. Not at all, my princess. It's just that, you see, I have you in mind always. You have come again. I'm flattered. Well, the gods bear me witness that I am not just saying these things to flatter you. I mean every word of it. Meanwhile, if I may ask, what has gotten the most beautiful woman in Umedili Kingdom? in such a depressed mood. Don't worry. It's nothing serious. No. You know I cannot help but worry. But Princess, I worry about you a lot. Honestly, I... I don't know what to say. I'm alright. Well, you don't have to say a thing. My princess, I really care about you. Well, 
Well, let's see if what I brought for you today can cheer you up. You brought something for me? Just wait. <laughs> Greetings, Father. Greetings, my dear. I am aware you have not been in this palace this morning. Where have you been? Nowhere in particular, just visiting friends. I see. Are they friends that I know? Yes, Father. My friends, you know. Ifedisha. Who is he? He? Who do you speak of, Father? Ifedisha. I am not just your father. I am the king of this land, and I know you well enough to know that even as we speak, there is a man on your mind. Who is he? Uh, Father, I, I, I... Have you seen yourself lately? There is this look that can only be seen in a woman when there is a man making her heart throb. Who is the man? Father, there is no man. Um, Ifedisha, bring him to me. What? Father, but I, I have not been with him long enough. Uh, but you have been with him long enough to always think about him. To the extent you are practically restless without him. I want you to bring him to me. I think this one. Okay. I think so too. Oh, if I did you, what do you think? These two can go well. If I did you, what is it? Again. Uh, nothing. My father wants to meet him. Him? Who? The young man I've been seeing for quite some time now. <laughs> You've been seeing a man? Yes. Remember the young man she told us about? The one she met on her way to your house? The one that mesmerizes her with words? Oh, 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 yes, 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 yes. Ah! Don't tell me that. Yes. I'm sorry I've not told you. I've just had a lot on my head lately. I, I'm sorry. I understand, my friend. With that kind of a man around you, you should have a lot on your mind. Yeah, I do. <laughs> but, how did the king find out? He's the king. Have you forgotten? He is gifted in his own way. Well, I suggest you, you tell him about it first. You never can tell. <laughs> if he asks me, I don't think that discussion will go well. Mm, Ijima, not all men are like your Amobi. Well, princess, I suggest you, you tell him about it first. You never can tell. He might just agree. I'm still thinking about it. Please, can we do less of me? We have marriage to plan. <laughs> Sincerely, Your Majesty, I am short of words. Why? I have been wondering why you asked her to do that. Why are you confused? Don't you think the time is ripe for us to become serious with this? I am a king. And I am not caught out for shite's play. Are you not tired of sneaking around with my daughter i want to end it all listen you are going to come to the palace as my daughter's suitor and then we can take it up from there or are you confirming to me you are no longer interested in my daughter 
Your Majesty, I must confess, I have come to love your daughter. Case is closed. See you in the palace. My son, you're welcome. You seem so surprised to see her. Yes, she came looking for you and I asked her to wait. <laughs> Obekunye, I hope you're not angry with me. Um, just being a consent friend, that's all. Yes. Can I talk to you for a minute? <sighs> no. My son. I want to see her for a minute. Go and speak with him. Come back anytime. Okay. Okay. I knew you would get over her. What is what is it? What is going on? What? What is going on with you? Obekuni, I can't still understand what you're talking Fine, about. Fine, let me use the language you understand. The other day you brought me food. Today you came visiting, even when you heard that I was not at home. You stayed back. What, were you, what are you trying to achieve? When you know my heart belongs to someone else. But she's getting married. Soon she will belong to another and not you. Obekuni, what is it that you see in Ijima that you can't see in me? Am I not a maiden just like her? Fine, you are a maiden. Yes, you are a maiden, but not for me. Even if I want to move away from Ijema, certainly I cannot consider her best friend as her replacement. I have lived with a woman all my life. I respect women a lot. But I'm just her friend. I'm not her sister. So? So you're ready to lose your best friend just because of a man? No, answer me. Say it. I, I, I thought so. See, Obekunye, um, I'm going back to see Waima like I promised her. I don't know. Obodanyo, 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 Obodanyo. What a kiribera kwa kasi ya bechiyanu. Eche zonana. Oh, 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 oh. The son of Ogudeni, who the great warrior. Oh, may his soul continue to rest in peace. I am so pleased. So pleased that you have grown into such a promising young man of my kingdom. All thanks to the gods, your majesty. So, what are your plans towards my beautiful daughter? I am sure you will agree with me that she is indeed the most beautiful young woman you have in this kingdom. Or are you going to disagree with me on that? So what are you going to say? Well, I totally agree with you on that, Your Majesty. She is indeed the most beautiful woman in this kingdom. <laughs> and Your Majesty, that's another reason why I'm here. I want to take this relationship of ours to a whole new level. That is with your permission and your majesty. Of course. The son of Ogudnihu, our great warrior. You have my permission, of course. <laughs> so, my love, what do you think? If <laughs> Your Majesty, I don't understand. 
Is there something I did not say correctly? Here right now, you said everything correctly, but I am not sure what you have been saying before now. What kind of nightmare is this? The men of Edun Golana were here yesterday to make the offer again. But my brother bluntly refused as usual. So I have a plan. If you are with me on this, if you are prepared to fight for what is rightfully yours, if you are prepared to earn a bright future, then swear to an oath that you all will stick with me in this fight until the end. And that you will not be a betrayer like Ego Dinogo, the fool. Is that all? Yes. So how exactly do we begin? <coughs> Your Highness, please permit me to ask a question. What exactly is this plan of yours? Tidiati, why are you such a coward? Why can't you for once in your life be a man? The next time you interrupt me, Give my Enough! Um, Your Highness, I'm sorry. I'm only seeking clarification. Please! Um, like Your Highness said, if anybody wants to back out, he should then do that now. If not, let's go into more important activities. Exactly! You want to know my plan? Then swear first. Okay then. I swear to stick to this group and to fight to the end. I swear to stick to this group and to fight to the end. I... I... I'm sorry, my people. I cannot do this. I cannot. You can go! Go, coward! That is what you are. Let's get down to business. Your Highness, you are in your compound. 
And from what you told me, your wife and daughter traveled to your in-laws village. Who could possibly be eavesdropping? Have you forgotten I have servants? Come, both of you. Let me tell you my plan. The king is sleeping. Is there any problem? Send for me. Let's sit. Did you dismiss the guard at the gate as instructed? Yes, Your Highness, I did. I do not want anybody to hear what I am about to tell you. Your Highness, is everything all right? I had a terrible dream last night. And ever since, I have had this feeling of unease. I feel something is going to go wrong. Your Highness, please, tell me, what is the dream all about? We can find a solution to any problem. That won't be necessary, my son. Take this. This is authority that makes one a king. Why are you giving it to me, Your Highness? I sense a terrible conspiracy against me. Give it to me if I wake up in the morning. But if I fail to wake up, hold on to it until the gods select another king. Never allow my brother come anywhere close to it. He is evil, and he does not deserve to be a king. Listen, my son. If I fail to wake up tomorrow morning, there are two things that I value most in my life, and you must protect them. My daughter and this ancient caduceus of the ancestors. It is capable of protecting you when you are in danger. Take them both and flee. The gods will bring you back when it is time to hand over the caduceus. Where is it? You bastard! You think you're wise? You think you're wise? You think you can manipulate me? Even in death? It's just a matter of time. And I will find it. on here I heard him scream and I rushed in 
I saw him struggling. I don't understand you. You don't live close to the king. How did you get into the king's inner chamber? What do you mean? What exactly are you insinuating? Are you saying I killed my own brother? I don't killed! Hey! <laughs> what Where is it? Where is what? And what's going on here? The carelessness of the ancestors. You are the fool that became his bodyguard. This is the climax. The night of death. Tell me where he kept it. Oh, you are gone with him. <laughs> where are we going to? Shh. No, I must get my stuff. of the ancestors. You must find them. Dead or alive. You may leave. If we leave. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Hey, 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 See, my princess, we are not out of Onago yet. You know the kind of uncle you have. He will come after us and kill us. We have to move now. Come, 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 come. Follow me this way.
together. Locate the enemy of this kingdom and pin him down. Why you the match of Alan and Uzo? What I give you about our run also? Oh, my wife and them more. Oh, come on, you got on a call. You carry a phone call. So I made it to Rizzo. I know Princess, let's continue, please. <laughs> Why the gods be not fair to me? Why did they allow my uncle, mother, my father in cold blood? And they are doing nothing about it. <laughs> Why must you say a thing like that? We are not in any position to question the gods. I will question them. I will. How could they be this cruel? Do you know what? My uncle will decline self king! I thought you will be done about it! Is it in me? Obu Danyo! Aruwa! Obu Danyo! What a kiri biara! Can you see I have a bakwa? Obe Boronu! Kiss is a mechanua! Di madue! Hey, <laughs> I do not know who you are, but I'm coming for you. Tell my father that I will be back. You cannot stop now. It's dangerous. Go. Who are you? That is not necessary. There's a stream not too far from here. You can drink from it to gather your strength. Now go. Go! Go! And you're parading yourselves as palace keepers, all of you? Your Highness, we've searched for her everywhere, including our Begeli and Ijema's houses, but we couldn't find her. Ghosts of my ancestors. Ghosts of my ancestors. How could this happen to me? Now, all of you, listen. If I close my eyes and my daughter is not back in this palace, I am going to set somebody a place. Am I understood? Yes, sir. Get out! Ghost of my ancestors. What happened before my daughter? My daughter is nowhere to be found. Temporarily, I, I was actually thinking she, she must have gone to your place. 
I got your message, Your Majesty. I was wondering if everything was okay. Yes! My daughter is, is, is not in this palace. That's why I sent for you. Well, she'll be fine, Your Majesty. Remember, she has a sacred car with her. How could this happen to me? Where could she be? Don't worry, Your Majesty. She'll be safe. Why did you you You're welcome, my child. Who is he, mother? He is a trusted man of Obonago. I want you to marry him. <laughs> mother, what kind of a joke is this this early morning? You fed it to my child. Though you are born a great woman, but you still need a special man that will bring out the best in you. He is the man. And I, you must make sure you end up with him as your husband. Yes. Yes, You must come with me immediately. What? Who are you and why must I come with you? me that one man and a woman escaped from four able-bodied men your highness the 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 princess uh, what about the princess what about her she's dead your highness what your highness we found her body deep in the forest and uh, uh, Egodinogu was nowhere to be found, Your Highness. You may now go. You mean you have gone around this kingdom? Searched everywhere in our Medley kingdom and you didn't see my daughter? Yes, sir, I, I am not going to waste time with any of you. Just fall out of this place, go and lock yourselves in. I am going to deal with you one by one when I finally have your time. Get out. Father. Get out! Do not blame them. Do not blame them, Father. If I was on a mission to save a life. I'll turn to them immediately. I will have time for this letter. Just take the bottom of this place. Go! My son, I am indeed very surprised that a mere business offer I made to your kingdom has cost your land a lot. I am indeed very surprised. Your Highness, what business offer? The men of Enugu Olona that came to your land with a business proposal, they came on my behalf. What? Yes. You know, 
I wanted to initiate a business partnership with three kingdoms. I sent the men of Enugolona with a proposal with the intention of making my involvement known in the long run. I am surprised hearing finally that what was offered was 30 bucks of money. My initial offer, which is still standing, is 50 bucks of money. What? Yes! It is not so glaring that the conspiracy in your kingdom is indeed very deep. But who are we to blame when money is involved? Your Highness, I am surprised to hear this. The business he introduced is the genesis of the problem that finally took the life of our king. So unfortunate. Father, I'm surprised. Honestly, I am surprised that people can go this extent just because of money. No, my daughter, people can do a lot of things because of money. Money is indeed evil and if you know the danger of money, uh, you may even decide not to even touch it. Money is... Listen, my dear, I am going to make you an offer. And that may be the only way forward. I want you to go back to your kingdom. Enlighten them on what you know now. That the offer was never 30 bags of money, but 50 bags of money. And that the offer is still standing. If you can do this for me, I will be eternally grateful. Can you do it? But Father, you have already heard his story. His life is at stake. Please, I beg of you, do not send him back almost immediately. Please. Okay, my daughter. Okay, then. You may stay as long as you wish. I'll give you one assurance. Your, your safety, your security, your comfort is guaranteed as long as you are here in my land. Thank you, Your Highness. So this is real. You don't know how many times I've asked myself if I'm still dreaming. I kept saving you from one dream to another. That's exactly what you were doing in my dreams. You introduced yourself as my guardian angel. And when I consulted the priest of the land, he confirmed it that you are my guardian angel. Is this real or am I still dreaming? No, you are not. Our dreams have finally turned into reality right before our eyes. I guess the gods have their own way of speaking to us. Indeed. I was meaning to ask, what's this? The sacred cowrie. Sacred what? Listen, you must mind how to control your feelings. Please sit. If that's secret cowering, you're wearing like that, then I am not worthy to sit with you. Ego Dinogu, if you do not sit, I will see it as a sign of disrespect. Please sit. Okay. If I may ask, why are you wearing it on your wrist? I was born with it. You were born with it? Yes. Hold on. Do not be scared. Hey God, you know you are a good man. A great man. Do not allow your heart wander. Please. Don't hold it against me. I am very confused right now. I come to think of it. Perhaps that's how you were able to find me. You're right. The cowry speaks to me. Amazing.
I greet you. Greetings, Echosumani. My princess, I would love to speak with you. Someone just greeted you. Are you coming or not? I'm sorry about that, please. I'll be back. Is he jealous or what? Why is he behaving like a kid? Echezona! Can you now give me the explanation I seek? What was that? What was that nonsense? You're yelling at me? And I'm supposed to be calm? You expect me to be calm when my wife brings another man home? Point of correction. I am not your wife. I never agreed to marry you. So where is this wife thing coming from? Even if I did agree. I am nobody's wife for now. So what is your problem? What is all this? What did you just say? You heard me right. I am nobody's wife. I liked you a lot. Yes. Said yes to your marriage proposal. No. When you meet a woman in distress and fall for her, the best gift you can ever give to her is time. That was what I expected from you, not that stunt you pulled in front of my father. And you were the one that took me to your father. Because he persisted that he wanted to make an acquaintance with you. That wasn't a clue for proposal. I see. So what are you trying to say then? Time. That you will not get married? Time! Etches on a time is all I need. Give me time! What is all this? Please, I have to go back because I have a guest. And I beg you in the name of the gods, when next you see my guest, be nice to him. Excuse me. If it is him, I told you that I have a plan. <laughs> a divine plan, eh? indeed. <laughs> Who knew that I, Obiefune, who one day sit in the throne room of the king as one of his cabinet members? <laughs> <laughs> when I am fully crowned <laughs> and my cabinet members are complete, eh? Did you for? You will be my Ono. <laughs> and you will be a Fune. You will be my special advisor on inter kingdom affairs. <laughs> Igwe! Igwe! There is a brighter future ahead. <laughs> now that I am the king, I will facilitate the sale of that useless river. And we will all live our lives in affluence. And now I will complete my father's funeral right. <laughs> then marry some beautiful maidens. Jidofo, uh, I didn't teach you that. You will marry one first. And then when that one gets used to you and starts misbehaving, marry another one and teach her the lesson of her life. <laughs> How about that? Very good. Look at him. The soil on your brother's grave is still fresh. You are supposed to be money, yet you sit here pretending to be king that you are not. Let me ask you, who made you king? Have you forgotten that a person cannot be king unless he is crowned? Unless crowned by who? You? Ezalusi, don't provoke me by undermining my authority. If you say you are king, where is the cadences of the ancestors? You sit here with fools, some of whom have not buried their fathers. You call them your unknown and decision makers. You should be ashamed of yourself. Let me remind you, Ezra the king is dead. The throne cannot remain empty. Nature ab us vacuum. Why 
What do we do now? Very simple. Find the caduceus. Huh? Yes. The king is dead. The caduceus is missing. The right hand man to the king is nowhere to be found. This is not a matter that requires you consulting a man like me. Wait a minute before you meet him. Are you now confirming to me that that fool I failed to strangle to death is the one that made the way with the caduceus of the ancestors. If you could find him, then you have found the caduceus. He is with it. And trust me, he knows the value of what he has. Now he has given me a reason to locate him and set him on fire. I know that you know you have a problem. I know. And you just nailed the problem. I will look at that son of a cow and retrieve the caduceus from him and set him ablaze. Trust me, Fonyo Metalo. I will stand and watch him burn to ashes. Have you forgotten what the caduceus represents? It is the summation of powers of the ancestors. The caduceus now protects him. You cannot find him to set him on fire. The Pionier Metal. Do you not listen when I explained to you what Ezalusi said? I heard everything. You cannot find him no matter how you try. Ego Dinogu will return to this kingdom soon and very soon. And when he returns, Find a way to get the calluses from him. If I understand you very well, you want me to sit and do nothing until he returns? If you believe you know more than me in the act of metaphysical ministrations, do what you like. Obodanyo, Asimo, Obodanyo, Obodanyo, Matakiri Bera, Wakasi, Yabetio, Yabetio. I humble myself before the princess of my land, the jewel of the king. You will remain the greatest of all your age mates. I like the sound of that. But sincerely, I don't want to be the greatest. I just want to be a happy woman. And that you will get. You make others happy. And happiness will be your portion. Please sit. I'm sorry, my princess. But I cannot see it. You're the princess of my land. I cannot sit with you. Ego Dinugu, this is an order. I want you to sit in the same place you've always sat. I want us to talk. What do you want us to talk about? I want to get to know you more. Tell me everything you told my father that made him promote you to the position of his right hand man. I know that feeling. Feeling of guilt. As if you're the one responsible for it. How did you know? 
I saw grieve on your face from the very first day I met you. She shouldn't have died like that. She cared about me a lot. You didn't return the affection. And that is why you feel so guilty. I was her father's right hand man. Doing that would have spelt doom for me. Her father wouldn't have trusted me with anything. I've never seen a man so noble. I have never seen a woman so perfect. Will I be asking for too much if I ask you to tell me everything about yourself? I am not going to hide anything from you. I will tell you everything if that will make you happy. Could it be that Ego Dinogu is the man her mother introduced in the dream? Could it be that Ifediche's dream is coming to pass? How am I supposed to handle this? I cannot let my daughter get married to a man that is not from this kingdom. It is not possible. Even when the solution to our problem is staring us right in the face, we still worry. How many times would I want you to stop sneaking on me? How many times? But I never did, Father. I walked in right in front of you. That rubbish you are saying as we are coming in now. Is, has it anything to do with me? Father, you seem present. But your mind is far away. I just saw you with the man from Obunago. And now you are telling me that the solution to my problem is staring me in the face. What does that mean? You do not want me to marry a man from another kingdom. Because you know once I move away, you will surely look like a king without an heir. Right? Where is this coming from? Father, does the name Wakego ring a bell? The only Mwakego I used to know was a woman I met long before I married your mother. Are you talking about her? I know your problem, father. Find Mwakego and you will find the solution to your problem. My king, if it is the same Mwakego I know you speak of, she died many years ago. I'm so sad hearing this. But you see, I know you. There is practically nothing you don't know in this land. Is there a family member of hers that I can possibly locate? Yes, my king. The mother, she's very much alive. Good. You see, please. I want to see that mother of hers, if possible. I want to see her faster than immediately. I cannot be attracted to two men. That is not possible. What is wrong with me? I have not even known Ego Dinogo for long. And all I can think of is being with him. What is... Ife my child. You are not attracted to two men. Intrigued by one, yes. Severely attracted to the other, yes. But you have to make up your mind on who to be with. Oh no. Mother, I thought you came to solve this problem for me. Now you have created a puzzle for me. Who is meant for me? Oh. 
I have resisted a lot of beautiful maidens in my time. Why can't I just resist her? Why can't I just stop thinking about doing something with her every time I set my eyes on her? Princess Ifediche, just what kind of woman are you? Her Highness, he's here. Okay, Your Highness. My princess, you sent for me. Are you alright? I couldn't sleep last night. Same here. Please, make love to me. You don't have to be embarrassed. The feeling is mutual. Gods of my forefathers, I can't believe this. I mean, I can't believe I just said that to a man I'm not married to. Then marry me. What? I, 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 I can't believe that I'm saying this to a princess. But then, I mean it. <coughs> Ifediche, I've never been smitten by a woman in my life. I am from a respectable family in Unago Kingdom. Trust me, I am going to take good care of you. Then you must return to your kingdom as soon as possible and deliver the truth. A relationship between Okbunago and Umedili will be a good foundation for our union. My love. Do not be scared. For I saw you with the courtesies of the ancestors. Sometimes I wonder how you see things. But then, I remember you were the bearer of <coughs> the sacred curry. Your king gave you the cadosis because he was moved by the gods. They wanted us to be together. The stray arrow killed the princess of your land to take her out. For us to be together and fulfill the will of the gods in your land. You have to go. You have to go now to your kingdom. The Cadosis will protect you. I am shocked by the revelation you just made. The gods manifest themselves in seasons. I know. My priest once said that to me. Before now, I told you to do something to me. Please do it to me. Please. I, I, in, in as much as I am uncontrollably attracted to you, I cannot make love to you. You're a woman I've come to respect. With the help of the gods, we will stay chaste until our marriage rite is completed. You, you are indeed a noble man. Very different from others. You are a gift from the gods to me. My guiding angel. Papa, you have started again. You have started again. Ijema, where is he? Where is he? A man promised to come and see your father. Several market days have passed and he is yet to come. What kind of a man is he? Eh? Papa, I don't like what you're doing. I don't like what you're doing. Give me some breathing space in this house. Ijema, have you heard of women who ended up in their father's houses? That will definitely be your fate. <laughs> father! Are you placing a curse on me? Truth, 
they say is bitter. He is you could eat with me. It's not what you think, you just have to listen to me. Ijemma! What nonsense is this? What is she doing here? Today is another maiden's day. Start explaining immediately. Who is that maiden? And what was the rubbish we're saying about today being for another maiden? Are you this useless? And I gave you my body. Just count the number of questions you have asked me. How can I answer all? When you know I was yet to reach the climax before I was rudely interrupted. And what exactly are you saying? That you're not going to answer my questions? Who is that maiden? I'm calling my beautiful maiden of Obendida. Calm down. Let's go in and finish what we have started. Immediately after that, I will give you the answers. Nkoli! 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 Ah, Ijem. Mba, Mba. Not today. Biko. I am not in the mood for your rubbish. Ijem, why are you like this? You know you're the only woman that has the key to unlock my heart. Why am what? I like how? And how has that become your business? Hmm? Who is the woman that has the key to unlock it? I have warned you. Stay away from me. Leave me alone. I have warned you before to stay away from me. Ijem, you know I love you so much. Why are you like this? Please talk to me. Ijem, I love you with all my heart. You're the only woman that can slap me and walk away like this. <laughs> it's okay. I wish you all the best. I love you. want to marry you. Yet you went and met with my father. On what grounds? To achieve what? Hey Gemma, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I did not mean to cause you any trouble. See, I, I, I thought I was doing the right thing by going to your father to... I, I did that because 
That is the only way I can show you how much I love you. I, I didn't mean to hurt you, please. I am sorry. Forgive me. Don't you I, think it's rather too late? Yes. The harm has been done already. As a matter of fact, you have succeeded in taking away my peace of mind in my own father's house. Now my father thinks that you're the only young man in this village that any woman should get married to. Gemma, seriously, I do not know what to say. You don't need to say anything, Obie Kunye. You don't need to say anything. Now let me tell you. Go to my father and call off whatever it is you have in my father. Because I will not and I will never marry you. Even if you don't want to do it for anything. Do it for my peace of mind. Give me back my peace in my father's house. I will not come here and warn you again. If you let me come back here, you will not like what I will do to you. I mean it. If you, if you let me come back here again, you will not like what I will do to you. Because you'll be making the greatest mistake of your life. Please, don't marry Amobi. <laughs> Are you insane? Is something wrong with you? How dare you walk into my compound and tell me not to marry the man I love? Don't you ever accept defeat? No, listen to me. It is high time you accepted the fact that Amobi has defeated you in this game of love. Get that! I, 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 uh... Ijama, I swear on my life, you do not know what you're doing. You don't know what you're doing. Oh, please! Don't give me that. I know exactly what I am doing. I am getting married to the love of my life. <gasps> Unfortunately, Ijama, you do not know the love of your life. Yes! Amobi is not who you think he is. He's not. He's not. And what do you mean by that? And who made you a judge over the man I call mine? The, 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 see, that's my point. That is my point. You call him your man. He has been taking advantage of that. Hey, 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 enough! Enough! Hold it right there. Obiekunye, you dare come into my compound and say jealousy reading words about my man. Let me warn you. Do not ever come back here again. Now get lost and don't you ever come back here. enough. You need some water.
should have just gone your way. Why did you stop to give me water? That is what love is all about. <laughs> Unconditional. Bears no grudges. We all make mistakes in life. And maturity entails that we will see mistakes as mistakes. I've <laughs> been a fool. I've been a fool. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for everything. <laughs> Let the tears drop. I am here to comfort you. You are a good man. I do not deserve you. I am a man who knows what he wants. You are the woman I want. And you will still remain the woman. Sometimes, a disappointment is a blessing. But this is something you must know, my dear friend. Everything you need must come to you at the perfect time. All you have to do is just be patient and wait for it. Okay? There is a saying, Give. But don't allow yourself to be used. Love. But don't allow your heart to be abused. Trust. But don't be naive. Listen. But don't lose your voice. <sighs> I think we've all learnt our lessons. <sighs> I learned mine the hard way. But then, there's something I learned about love. Love is unconditional and it bears no grudges. Okay, I'm okay now you're beginning to confuse me. <laughs> there's something Obie Kunye did that got me so amazed. What exactly did he do? I'll tell you. While I was crying after my heartbreaking discovery, Obie Kunye came. He didn't just pass by. He came to me, offered me water. Not only water. He offered me his shoulders to cry on. <laughs> that single act of his melted my heart. And thinking of it, I should have seen a sign on her movie. It wasn't your fault. I guess you were carried away by the idea of getting married to your first love. It wasn't your that young man really loves you. Yes, now I know. <laughs> Speaking about love, I think I found one. Hey, woo. Hey, woo. <laughs> Wait, let me guess. Um, the gentleman with his sweet tongue? No. Who then? Tell us. His name is Ego Dinogo. A gentle young man from Obunago Kingdom. Obunago? Yes, Obunago. So, how about the other man? What I felt for him was never as strong as this. I was merely intrigued by his looks. Ego Dinogu is something else. A young gentleman that my mother once introduced to me in my dream as my husband. Yes, you told me something like that. Your mother joined you to a young man in your dream. But then, would you rather say that your love for him stems from the fact that he's been introduced to you in your dream as your husband? Not at all. This isn't the case, I assure you. I see. When you know, 
you know. Mm -hmm. Speaking from experience, I perfectly understand you, my dear. You see, Obi Ekunye has been nothing but a pillar of strength to me ever since Amobi broke my heart. Well, I thank the gods for everything that has happened. I believe lunch is served. Oh. Let's go and eat. Oh, Hey! Stop there! You're coming with us willingly on your own, or we're taking you back dead. The choice is yours. I am the bearer of the caduces of the ancestors. It would be wise of you not to lay your hands on me, because you know the meaning of that. Back off! Back off! Now listen, Akum is not who you think he is. I never killed the king. He did. The princess caught him red-handed. But she's no more now. All this started when the men from Enugualona came to request that we should give them the portion of our river for 50 bucks of money. But our king refused because he was an honorable man. But Akum needed this money so badly that he murdered the king so he can have his way. Right now, I am going to Ezalusi to deliver this news. What has come over you, Didia Fa? Eh? You ran into a Godinogu. The same cool that ruined everything. And he told you what? Why in this world will you listen to that fool? You are a fool to ask me that question. In fact, you are a son of a cow to think that you will manipulate every Hey! What is the meaning of this? What? Oh, you still have mouth to talk, you greedy bastard. What, what were you thinking in the first place? That we will never find out about the 20 extra bags of money that you were going to keep for yourself. You are indeed an unworthy son of this land! I came to you because I know you're the only one who can stop him. He has to be stopped before he kills more people to achieve his goal. You are indeed a noble man of this land. May the gods bless you. So indeed, this is a conspiracy against me. You evil man, you brought him back to come and destroy me. You are a fool to think you can manipulate the gods. The gods are wise. Indeed, the gods are wise. Long live your highness. All that happened. They were not mere coincidences. The gods moved ahead of us.
to pick a young man of this land and make him king. You are that king. In my capacity as the chief priest of this land, I name you the new king of Abonago. My daughter Wakego died so many years ago during childbirth. As at the time we discovered she was pregnant, we tried informing the man responsible for her pregnancy, but some members of his family found out and threatened that they would kill the child if we let him know. Knowing that they are the most powerful family in this land, we had no choice but to keep Eze Olanyelo's son away from him. What? Yes. And where is the child now? I will bring him myself. I can't believe this. I seriously can't believe this. No, why didn't they inform me when I become the king of Umedulu Kingdom? Why? <laughs> Your Highness, I guess they still have fear for the life of the boy. So, when am I going to set my eyes on my son? Your Highness, I trust the woman. She said she will bring the boy by herself. Why must I be sentenced to that kind of long wait? Why can't I just go and meet my boy? Why? Your Highness, patience. Give the woman some time to break the news to the man first. My son, I am sorry we kept this from you all these years. No harm intended. We had to protect your life. Your Highness. You do not have to call me that. I suddenly became royalty. But no. I'm still the Obie Kunye that I have loved you all my life. How are you? I am fine. The world is indeed a small place. Why did you say that? I had always wondered why they should name you Biekunye. And I know some people who has and I know some people who had castigated your family for giving you a name meant for royalty. Little did we know that you are the prince of our land. Indeed, it is a small place. Yes, it is a small world. But we can make it big. I mean you. And I. What do you mean? I don't understand. 
completely. I propose on my honor. Do I have your permission now? I do not deserve you. We equally do not deserve the life Chuko Kike has given to us. Yet, he toilets us. <laughs> Ijema, say yes and make me the happiest man in the land. Respect you all the days of my life. We met the king of Queen. Anyone on a Queen? Yeah. Abu Nagu Queen. Yeah. Ndiba Kwezono. We are here today for something big. I can actually say something bigger than all of us. It is a process. A complicated process started by the gods. Not just the gods of a kingdom, but gods of three different kingdoms. For the singular purpose of healing some old wounds. And then creating an opportunity for men of integrity to rise as leaders of different kingdoms. If it is my daughter, please step forward. I never wanted you to marry a man from another land. For in my ignorance, I referred to them as strangers. Finally, the gods have proved me wrong. The gods of this land, even before you were born, retrieved the sacred coyote from the boss of the gods. They gave it to you. You came into existence with the sacred coyote. And that is for a purpose. For you to locate a man of the gods who has finally become the king of Obunago people by an act of the gods. <laughs> Step forward. We are finally in a new era. And that is the era where the sacred cowrie has been retrieved from you as the messenger of the gods, as the bearer of the sacred cowrie. And the sacred cowrie is back in the boss of the gods. And another phase is where the princess of Umedele Kingdom has finally become the queen of Obunago people. <laughs> standing on the authority of the gods, standing on the stone of our fathers, standing on the caduces of your ancestors. I hereby declare both of you, man and wife. Never you Yeah. Quanu. Quanu. Yeah. Quanu. Your union will bring blessings. It will bring blessing not just to our lands, but to all the lands around us. He said. You shall be blessed on the market day. He said. You shall be blessed on the market day. He said. You shall be blessed on our market day. He said. And you shall be blessed on the market day. He said. <laughs> and so shall it be. He said. You may write. <laughs> 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 